You're listening to the Shady Designs Podcast, the show where you'll discover all the inside tips and stories behind Australia's favorite artists, designers, and experts. Now here's your host, Arif Imran. Hi, and welcome to the Shady Designs Podcast. Today we're talking about wallpapers and how wallpapers can certainly bring life to some walls in your space, whether you've got a commercial area, a kid's bedroom, a hallway, or a living room. At the moment, you're probably looking at your walls and thinking, how can I bring this to life? And you're, whether you're, you've got a, what we like to call a plain renter's beige, maybe it's a white, maybe you've got an expansive space that you think needs a, something on the wall, but you can't quite figure out whether it should be an artwork or you've probably found it too hard to find the appropriate artwork or size. Maybe you've got a bedroom that needs to have a bit more personality. Often you you can find that painting isn't quite enough and that's where wallpapers really comes in. If if you've got a big space and you want to add some feature pieces, there's only so many things that you can add to a room before it starts to look really cluttered. And with wallpapers, it's certainly an attractive way to to bring some texture and some form to to the space. With wallpapers you can find a print or a a design that that has the right kind of colour and life to it that you might look for in the rest of the room. So for example you might have some curtains, lampshades or cushions that already have colours in there. Maybe you want to draw inspiration from another artwork on an opposite side of the room and that's where you can introduce your wallpaper pattern. Maybe you've just got a favorite wallpaper that you've uh, had in your memory for for a long time. So something that's a classic from um, let's say Harlequin from the UK or maybe you've got a a, a real favorite Florence Broughtus wallpaper. We've come a long way since the sort of 60s where you've got those really retro um, graphic wallpapers and now you'll find quite modern prints. You might find some, um, you know, timeless designs that you can, you can have on the wall. And I thought we'd share with you three simple case studies which kind of outlines the key ways or the, um, or the, the best ways that you can introduce wallpapers to your space. So... Here's number one. Euro Bay Cafe is this uh, groovy little place down in Brighton Le Sands in Sydney. It overlooks the water and it's a, a really busy um, family cafe restaurant that, um, that overlooks the water and uh, has a real buzz about it. But in Euro Bay, they've got this, along one side of the wall, they've got this huge sort of mural and it's, um, it's almost sort of graffiti looking and really busy. And the owner, Peter, asked us to to help him choose a wallpaper that would certainly complement the space that he's already got. So it's got sort of low ceilings with hanging ceiling pendants and each little booth needed a sort of cosy feel about it. But the wallpaper couldn't be too overpowering. It it had to go with the already busy um, mural that happened to be down one side. And then he's got the vinyl couches that everybody sits on. So here's our tip for busy areas. You can go with a wallpaper that's quite simple. And in this case, we used um, a grass weave. Grass weaves are sort of textured materials that uh, really were popular back in the sort of 50s, 60s. And you can find some really great colors that are sort of neutral, or you might want to find a grass weave with a a heavier, solid, uh, more dramatic color, but because by nature, they're sort of woven materials. They've got a texture about it, so it means just because it's plain, it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be boring. So in Eurobay's case, we chose something which had a sort of vintage feel about it, so a sort of uh, off-green colour palette. And that went really well with the multicoloured um, feature wall. So there's tip number one. Go with something simple if you've got a really loud space already. Number two is Sarah's place. Sarah down in Lilyfield had had an idea to add some wallpaper to her space. And in her 
house quite modern she went with geometrics in her example and found a print from Cole and Sons that really worked well for the scheme of her space. So think about an open modern room with a, um, a geometric. So it's a kind of simple approach to the design of the wall. And we're talking in this case, a feature wall only. And that really brought out just enough design and not too overwhelming. So. In her case, her furnishings weren't so busy, but this geometric print kind of brought that all together. So gave that room some, some, um, some design, but it wasn't too much. And finally, we've got Linda who lives around the corner on Cecily Street, just around near the Shady Designs studio. And she always had loved the Catherine Martin collection. So it was a matter of which color for her. She already had in mind that it, it would be a really fun, vibrant pattern, but which one was the one that would best suit her space? So it's always handy to be able to come home and have a sample of the wallpaper or even better, bring home the book so you can choose between the designs. So it's often the case where a wallpaper is available in a number of different colorways in the same pattern. And having a look at the wallpaper in the daytime and the evening to see how the light catches it, or how really it works in the context of the space, because it's really hard to, to um, look at a wallpaper and imagine how it's gonna work in a shop. It's always good to have it and sort of um, in your space, stand back, take a look at the, the pattern in full repeat, and see which one you really think is gonna work best. So in her case, light colored furniture meant a darker colored wallpaper. So there's our three sort of styling ways that you can approach wallpapers. I, I think that you can um, find wallpapers online, but really the best thing to do is to come in, have a look and a touch of your wallpaper at, in the shops and look through the books. And it's, it gets really overwhelming to, um, to flick through so many wallpaper designs and then finally decide on what, which one would work in, in your space. So, Ultimately, what you've got to think about is which one do you like the most and then get the advice of the wallpaper specialist. If you'd like to check out some wallpapers from Shady Designs, book in a time and um, come in and we can look together at all the different styles and there's hundreds to choose from in here. So it's good to, to, lo to lock in a time together, maybe even bring in some photos of your room or your space or your house. And, and um, in, in detail, you know, mention what furniture you've got in there already and whether you want to go with the subtle design, maybe you want to go with something that was bright and vibrant or something that's in between like Sarah and her geometry. Uh, the best way to book a time to talk about wallpapers with us is to email us info at shadydesigns.com.au or maybe just give us a call quickly 028065 four six five eight and we can show you all our books and then you can even take some home and, and figure out what you think is going to be the best for your family.